In this video, we're going to quickly review reducing fractions. When we reduce fractions, what we really want to do is divide out common factors, which means as we look at a fraction like 36 over 84, we are attempting to identify what factors they both have in common. We might notice that they're both even, and so they have a common factor of 2. 36 is 2 times 18. 84 is 2 times 42. And we'll notice that when we have a common factor of 2 in both the numerator and denominator, we can divide those factors out, leaving just the 18 and the 42. It is important to notice that we can only do this reducing when they have a common factor of 2. Recall that factors imply that multiplication is the operation happening. This does not work if there was any addition. We can look at this 18 over 42, though, and notice we still have some common factors. 18 and 42, both being even, still have a common factor of 2. So let's factor that common factor of 2 out of the 18. 18 is 2 times 9, and 42 is 2 times 21. And again, we can see that common factor of 2 dividing out, and we're just left with the fraction 9 over 21. We're not done yet, though, because 9 and 21 both have something in common that can be divided out of both of them. 9 and 21 both have a common factor of 3. 9 is 3 times 3. 21 is 3 times 7. And now again, we've got a common factor of 3 that can divide out, and we're just left with, for our final answer, 3 sevenths. Now, generally, when you're reducing a fraction, like 36 over 84, we don't have to show all this work of pulling out the factors one by one, and then dividing it out and starting over again. What we will often see instead is we'll look at the 36 over 84 and decide, hmm, I can divide those both by 2. And so we'll just divide the 2 out. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 84 divided by 2 is 42. And then I'll look at those and say, well, I can divide both of those by another 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 42 divided by 2 is 21. And then I might look at those and say, well, I can divide those by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 21 divided by 3 is 7, and in that same way, a little more compact, we end up with the 3 sevenths. A nice thing about reducing, also, is there's quite often several ways to get at the same answer. As we looked at the 36 over 84, we may have been able to notice that they are both divisible by 3 at the beginning, and divided out 3 at the beginning. Or I might have even tried a bigger number. 36 and 84 are both divisible by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9, and 84 divided by 4 is 21. And then I could see they could each divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. And we get at that same answer of 3 over 7, much quicker. So if we can identify larger numbers to reduce by, we can get at that final reduced solution quicker than doing them one by one. Nice part about reducing is as long as you divide both the numerator and denominator by the same factor, you'll always end up with the same final result.